Welcome back, True Believers. Today's battle report is more of a discussion on whoopsie. Um, I made a mistake in my video doing the C3, how to build your list using Alpha Strike Unit Builder, and I did not clearly specify adjusting your skill points versus the actual cost of models of my builds in C3. So historically, before it was Alpha Strike, when it was Quick Strike, and then the original monster, which was Battle Force 2. The problem was adjusting skills and point costs. The battle report from May 20th, um, the game started off with my opponent having a skill for a force at 750 points, and after turn one, we did an adjustment. That's why the video was not in sync. And we gave him all skill threes and a skill two commander. Because he completely missed everything turn one. And I I, I said to myself, you never defang a tiger and send him out into the wild. It's not right. So even though my opponent had a massive point advantage instantaneously, it didn't really affect the outcome of the game. Because dice were terrible again. I don't know what it's about that room with my dice at Dragon's Lair Medical Center. My dice are just like cold for two hours and then it's like hot flash, like I'm going through menopause or something. Or if my wife will put it going through the change. You married guys know what I'm talking about. So this will be the preamble of the bat wrap. Um, again, I painted a force for my opponent that turquoise, black, and gray. I am willing to do paint service for people. I'm not going to charge you an arm and a leg. Just replace the models or send me your models however you want to do it. We'll talk about it in a much later video. So with that being said, I'm going to end this, cover the bat wrap, then give you the aftermath later. All right, true believers. Like I said in the preamble, turn one and deployment kind of got meshed together. You're looking at the Koreans and you're looking at the Mercs. And we're set up marching into our very narrow corridor of doom. However, it was a three by three field and there's a lot of corners. We didn't really use the terrain the way it was supposed to be, but it's all good. So the end of my turn one was adjusting and leaving fire. Um, Battle Max got cracked for a miraculous boxcars engine hit. Avatar lost half of its armor. Thanatos got scratched. And I wanted to swing my secondary force in to catch this group which was the orion grand dragon and a panther well the panther was dead and the other mech in the corner main battle force did not want to deal with what was coming around the corner which was two restroom carriers the atlas the king crab marauder and the other big scary the thug so when you look at the shot Sunder caught it the beginning of turn two, literally. The entire assault lance opened up and took him out. Akuma got scratched, and Battlemaster lost some armor. This force with the Orion and the Grand Dragon, and it was just nasty. No one wanted to play nice or play ball. So my force split and came across the different caravans. Sunder is still down. That kind of hurt. Hunchback. <laughs> Hunchback 5P is no one's friend. The spider is hanging out here spotting like a jerk. It was just rough. So it was a lot of denial shots and denial of everything. This turn three, I forgot to put the clip in. I'll put it in. Turn three, I lost the Thanatos. I lost um, Avatar. Turn four, Thug. Turn five, actually. Turn five. It was just rough. As you look at the way the battle unfolded, everyone thought that running up in the gut of the fight was a good idea. This is turn three, and the Akuma got ambushed. There was nothing almost left of the Akuma, but we cracked the SRM carrier, and his Cyclops and his LRM carriers were hanging behind the mountain. I couldn't even get to them. This was a painful turn, giving as good as I got. Um, we did manage to crack the Grand Dragon and the Raven. That was the last mech in there. However, as you come across, you just see that it's like, had he closed his trap effectively enough, he would have tabled me. 
my peregrines and my sprint and my ferrets were just trying to beat the ECM bubble and it was ineffective and not conclusive. This is truly, truly just a beating and a beating and a beating and a beating and a beating. So clean up, Peregrine and the Knicks took out a Mac and it the Orion got it later on. King Crab got it. Everyone gets it. It's just at the end of the game, which you'll see very briefly, my opponent doubled down on his must kills. And finally, my Antoses got into the fight turn four. We cracked the Atlas, and then we just started laying on the hurt. Again, the theme of this battle was bad dice rolls versus good ideas with <laughs> ill-fated intentions. I wanted to fight in a tight corridor and make this an hour and a half game. It ended up being a three-hour game, which was fine. However, when you look at the dynamics of the shift in the battlefield, it really comes down to the Antoses and the Akuma and the Thug standing up to an Atlas, a King Crab, a Hunchback, the Cyclops, the Thug, and the Marauder. No one was getting away with this. No one was getting away from it. And Peregrines were out there just plinking people that needed a little bit of damage to leave this life. However, with the LRM carriers and the Cyclops being primarily what my opponent have left, not including what was left of the Marauder, the two Antoses were on schedule to clean house. My Grand Dragon and my Skulker were just hiding out saying, please don't shoot us because we hope no one cared enough. However, overall, I enjoyed this match. It was just the dice rolling was terrible. Peregrine and the Knicks cracked his Grand Dragon in the back. Antosa smashed the Atlas and the King Crab. Thug did what he could, but it was punishment all the way around. Apologize, I gotta work with the, the I gotta get a different lens for bat reps. However, enjoy the clips. Clean up. <laughs> The Nyx is a very dangerous C3 mech, one of my new favorites. This Peregrine finished off the Spider, who was spotting all day. <sighs> Just a rough, rough battle. I loved every minute of it, though. The ferrets have the yellow designators that have the ECM bubble. <laughs> That's who tried to take on a King Crab and got mauled. But all in all... Grand Dragon finished off the Hunchback 5P. And when you get to the next part of the video, I'm going to ask you to like, comment, subscribe, and stay for the post wrap up. Subscribe! Alright, so this is the post video wrap up. And I wanted to highlight two very specific things really quick. One, if you look at the awesome picture, you have the Hunchback versus two catapults. Systematically, if there's it's 30-25, Hunchback has a very nasty advantage just with the AC-20. But let's say this is last night's game, and I have a Hunchback. So what I wanted to do was share screen, and we are going to go to the intramanets. Yeah, just ignore that. So clear this off and I want to start off with the box set that I recommended for most people. So if you get the support lance that has a Cyclops, Thug, Grand Dragon, I'm getting the 7K, touch your face, and the Spider C. Fine, 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 you're a pain. Okay. In the box with Skill 4 Pilots, it's 167 points. It is not impressive. It does have one ECM. It does have two fast flankers. It does have one meaty beat stick, and it has a mediocre beat stick called the Cyclops. 
So I am not going to give the skill two pilot to the Cyclops. I'm going to put a skill three in there because you're not supposed to get close. So I'm going to upgrade and then I'm going to make everyone else threes. So this went up 42 points. This is very deceptive and I want everyone to highlight this when they're looking at their notes building courses. So now let's get into the next lens. If I wanted a monster lens that was on screen, at Lyceum, put us, and here's the thing. If I make the Atlas the company commander, but he's not in the company command um, monstrosity of this of the Cyclops 2, nobody really cares. But that Hunchback coming at 39 points, boom. I'm going to hit the King Crab now, and it's the OAB. Give him a skill three, and then um, wrapping up this lens with the Marauder 6R, the one with the ECM and the C3 Slave. Where is it? Probably the five R. Call it a day. So now, and this is not a full company, but just looking at the skill difference alone, you are moving close to a very powerful, heartbreakingly tragic um, super company. So Panther, just because we can. Raven for LC. And this is just to showcase what I was expecting to fight versus what I got. And I'm not mad at all. MC. The Orion MC is just not right for anybody to be hit with or hit with at all. Um, and his other grand. Dragon 7K because he has two in there. Boom, boom. So this on its own is um terrifying. I don't remember which one, but we're just say for sake of argument, two of those. And then he got the upgrade arm carriers. And he was way beyond, this is not even everything else, but this is what he should have been rocking. No, it's the one with the, this is roughly 700 points, 16 units, four lances. And this is what it should have looked like. And we modified it to become that. Still a great game. I'll drop this in the share folder. It will be linked in the description below. So feel free to come back and critique it. Give me your thoughts, feedback. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. Want to talk to you guys more often. And peace.